Let's say you have a digital course launching soon. You want to be talking about your course on social media, in your email marketing, to your list, on your podcast, everywhere. You want to be teasing it, promoting it, generating excitement so that when it actually comes time to sell, you have this list of people who's excited to buy from you. So in order to capture those people's information, their name and email address, you want to create a waitlist page in Kajabi. Also, once you are actually open for enrollment and once your course is actually for sale, you'll need a sales page in Kajabi. So you have these two pages, waitlist page and sales page. And you wanna make sure that you're sending traffic to the right page at the right time without having to change your page content or change the links that you're sharing. You do this with an automatic page redirect. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. Hi, I'm Susie of Elevating Expertise. On this channel, I talk about how to grow your online business on Kajabi, specifically how to generate traffic, how to build funnels, and how to develop your marketing strategy. If you're selling your digital course using a live launch model, you will only open for enrollment for a certain period of time, usually between one and two weeks. So this means that you have a cart open date and time, which is when you first open up for sales, and then a cart close date and time, which is when you stop selling, when, when the course is no longer for sale. So before your course is actually for sale, you wanna be talking about teasing, promoting it for people. And you can do this with a waitlist page. A waitlist page is a landing page that you build in Kajabi and you on it you'll tell people a little bit about what the course is about, when you are planning on um, launching, and then there will be a form where they can add their name and email address. There's no obligation. They're just saying, yes, I'm interested. You know, tell me more information when it actually is for sale. You can also use a waitlist page after your cart closed because there will be some people who just don't take action this time, but they might want to sign up to be notified next time that you open for enrollment. So that's the purpose of a waitlist page. You'll also have a sales page, which is where you actually sell the course. But here's where things get tricky. Let's say I am opening up for enrollment on January 15th at 8 a.m. So I want my waitlist page to be active until 7.59 a.m. And then at eight o'clock, I want that sales page to become the active live page without having to change the content of either page or change the links that I'm sharing. So we will use an automatic page redirect to do this, to accomplish this goal. So next I'll hop into my computer and I'll show you how you're gonna set up a waitlist page, a sales page, and then an event countdown, and then a page redirect action. So we'll jump into Kajabi now and I will show you exactly how to set all that up. Okay, we're gonna go through creating a waitlist page, sales page, and then an automatic redirect between those two pages. And these are the steps. I already created the waitlist page and sales page just to save some time. So I'll show you what those look like. So this is the waitlist page. We can preview it here. It's pretty short. We want it to be all above the fold uh, so that they don't have to scroll down to be able to get to the waitlist part of it. And we're just letting them know in January, 2024, I'm launching a course. Um, I grabbed this uh, course mock-up template from Canva. I definitely recommend creating a mock-up like this, um, even if you know your course isn't totally complete, which it won't be at this point, that's fine. But you can create something like this. It really brings it to life, makes it feel and look just more legitimate. So on this page, uh, in this hero section, we have a text, image, and form block. So the text is this one, the image is just this um, graphic I created in Canva, and then this is the form block. Um, so if we click in here, I haven't selected a form yet because that's what we're gonna do together. So that's why we're on the, when we're on the waitlist page here, there's, there's nowhere to actually add their name because we're gonna do that together. Um, I did add this copy down here, but we're going to create the form. Uh, but first, I'm just going to show you real quick the um, the sales page. And I just grabbed a uh, one of the templates that 
that Kajabi comes with. And you would want to say something here in the hero section, you know, to grab their attention. I have this tell me more call to action button that shoots them down. So this would be the, the when the course is actually for sale. Um, we're going to use, I'm using the same graphic here. Then you're, you know, listing out the what's included. By now, this takes you to the checkout page. So, and then there's more to this page, but it's all, um, it's all just the placeholder text that the Kajabi template came with. So what we're going to do is set up an automatic redirect between this waitlist page and this sales page. So I'm going to show you, I have this little checklist. So I already checked these off, create waitlist page, sales page, create waitlist form. That's what we're going to do together. So in Kajabi, you're going to go to marketing and I'm going to close these and I'm going to move this waitlist page over just because that um, makes it easier for me. And we'll go down to under marketing. You'll go down to forms on this left-hand side panel. I'm going to create a new form. Okay, so course launch, you would probably have the actual name of the course waitlist. And I do want to include the um, the month and year that I plan to launch because you might have waitlists in the future and you just want to make sure to not get those groups mixed up. And we're going to change this one to single opt-in. And we just need their name and email address. Automations, I would add two automations. One, we're going to tag them. So your when fields are pre-populated and then your then fields add a tag. And um, I'm just going to create this tag and I'm going to make sure to include again that month and year so that I can filter these people. So we gave them a tag and then we're going to, I also want to send them an email after, um, after they've signed up. So you can either um, subscribe to an email sequence and set this up as an email sequence, or you can just send a one-off email. So subject, you're on the waitlist, and then you would just update this copy here. Okay, so you're going to add a little bit more copy to this, just getting them excited and confirming that they're actually on the wait list. And I'm going to save that. Okay, so our form is created. Let's go back here. I created the form, add email sequence or email and tag, including a launch date. Um, you know what? I actually forgot to we have one more step here. Okay, add waitlist form to waitlist page. So we'll go to the waitlist page, select here or click here to select a form. And actually I'll refresh this to make sure that that form is available from this dropdown. Course launch January 24, save. And we also definitely wanna make sure to update this. Submit is boring. And I'm going to change that background color so it's not that Kajabi blue. Okay, great. Okay, going back here, we did that. Next, create cart open event. So I mentioned if you're doing a live launch, you're going to have a cart open date and time and a cart close date and time. So we're going to create an event in Kajabi for that cart open event. Um, and let's say, using this as an example, Open is January 15th at 8 a.m. We can also say close. Okay, so we're not actually doing anything with the cart close date right now, but um, this is just kind of an example of, of what these dates and times might look like. Okay, so to create that event, we're going to go to, we're um, in Kajabi under marketing, we're going to go to events and new event. We'll say course launch 2024. And then it's asking you, and this is a date and time selector field. So uh, it's going to be exactly what, um, what you select here. You can't like type in the wrong thing. Okay. So I've selected January 15th at 8 a.m. 
which this is going to be my time zone that's going to default to um, mountain time. So just, yeah, you can change it here if you want to. We don't need to repeat this event. And I'll click Save. And I'm not doing anything else. I'm not adding emails or uh, I'm not repeating the event. I'm not adding automations. The only reason right now that I need this event is to set up that page redirect. So we'll go back to our checklist, create cart open event. I did that January 15th at 8 a.m. Okay, so now we need to add that event countdown block to the waitlist page. So I'm gonna go to my waitlist page and let's just preview it here. Okay, so this is what the page looks like right now. It just has this form. That's the only thing happening on this page. We're gonna go back to edit it to add an event countdown to the hero section. Um, can do this countdown. I'm going to move this up. We want it up at the top of the page. It says select or click here to select an event to count down to. I'm going to do that. Course launch 2024. And at this point, it's just <laughs> numbers. It's, it doesn't tell us like what is actually happening there. So I will have to add a text section. It's Okay, we'll move this up above. The course will be available in 27 days, 21 hours, blah, blah, blah. So it's counting down to zero here. And I would make those colors a little bit brighter, a little more eye-catching, maybe add like a border around there or something just to grab their attention. Um, but for our purposes right now, this is fine. So, but the important thing is that this is gonna count down to zero and then we need to enable the countdown action. So what that means is that once it counts down to zero, once this hits zero, something's going to happen. That's something we want to. After event, we want them to go to landing page. So I'm going to grab that sales page and then save. So what that means is for the next 27 days and 21 hours, if you share the link to this page with somebody, they're going to go to this page and they'll be able to add their name to the wait list. After that, after it counts down to zero, so on January 15th at 8 a.m., if somebody clicks on the link to go to this page, this page will open up for just a second, and then it's going to show the sales page. And then they'll be able to, you know, buy from there. So we added that event countdown block to the wait list page and we created that countdown action, redirect to sales page. And if this is your first time doing this, it's, it can be a little bit nerve wracking. So I would test it, you know, create an event that's, you know, in 20 minutes from now, and then just keep an eye on this page and uh, not from the admins end, but from the, the public's view, just see what it's gonna look like um, so that you can actually see what will happen once this countdown timer hits zero. Okay, so that's how you set up an automatic page redirect based on a date and time that you decide for your waitlist page and sales page. You can also do the same thing kind of in reverse. So when your cart closed, let's say you're open for 10 days and then January 25th at 9 p.m. your cart closes. You can set up uh, a, an event in Kajabi, like a cart close event and then have a countdown timer on your sales page. And that adds some urgency to your sales page. We're only enrolling for another, you know, 13 hours and it'll count down to zero. And then once it hits zero, you'll send them back to the waitlist page. So, but I would only, only do one thing at a time. Um, you would want to, when your cart is open between that cart open and cart close date, then you would want to set up that redirect at the end because if you are trying to make them like count down to each other, they're just going to keep bouncing back and forth and it's going to go crazy. So before your cart open, you set up that waitlist page to sales page redirect. And then when your cart is open sometime in that 10 days, set up the sales page to waitlist page redirect just in the opposite direction.
So, and the beauty of this is that now when you're actually selling, you can be engaging with your audience and talking to people and answering questions instead of like having to sit at your laptop and, and changing things like at the exact right moment. So I'm all for automations. It's gonna free you up to be focusing on the things in your business that you really should be focusing on. Thank you so much for watching. If this was useful, hit like, subscribe. You can share it with anybody else who uses Kajabi. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.